Did Rick Shields just join Team Douche to DeChambeau? I have lost distance. I've lost club head speed. I've lost ball speed. I want to take part in a little bit of a, of a self-discovery challenge. I'm going to have six weeks to see if I can pick up more swing speed, more ball speed, therefore more distance. On today's Douche to DeChambeau. If you're new here to OGV and Douche to DeChambeau, Douche to DeChambeau is, is, is my A12.8 Handicaps journey to hopefully drop in Bryson bombs in my 2021 golf season. I'm using the Super Speed golf system. I'm using the Light Speed by Orange Whip. I am working out. I am running. I'm hitting roughly 300 to 500 balls a week in the Fairway Factory all in hopes in increasing my swing speed and dropping Bryson bombs in 2021. Now I received a few messages, about four messages on my Instagram, a couple comments on my video that Rick Shields has started a similar program to my douche to DeChambeau. Now, right out front, do I think Rick Shields saw my stuff? Absolutely not, I am a small channel. But on the positives, I think it's absolutely great that Rick Shields is doing this. His audience is huge and he's bringing this style douche to DeChambeau training to a huge mass of golfers and it can only improve golf as a whole. The more guys we have increasing their swing speed, getting better at golf and getting better in shape can only help golf as a whole. I am all for Rick Shields and what he is doing and I wish him the absolute best on his journey to increasing his swing speed and getting into shape. Let me tell you, I've been doing it now for seven weeks and it's absolutely changed my life. Now on today's Douche to Shambo, we're talking about the importance of recouping and resting and taking a break. In week seven, after six tough weeks of working out with the super speed golf sticks, lifting weights, running, playing a lot of golf, I needed a week off to recoup. I am almost 40 years old. I was feeling a bit sore, a bit run down, so I took a whole week off. I did play 36 holes of golf, but I did not train at all. I just wanted to recuperate. I was feeling a little bit sore in some spots, and I just wanted to be able to kind of recoup so I could hit it harder as I hit phase two of the super speed golf training sis system. And in the end, I think it, it actually really helped. I am now back at it. I am feeling better than I ever have. But when it comes down to it, the big question of, of the day, does a break kill your swing speed gains? Am I gonna see a drop in gains when I head out to the fairway factory? Are my speeds gonna drop the 90s? You know, I, I, I recently hit 103 after week six. Am I gonna see after taking a one week break to kind of rest up and to recoup Am I gonna be losing all of these gains? Is this super speed training something you need to do every single day or three, four times a week or you lose it? Because you know, everybody's busy in life. We all don't have time to just dedicate all this X amount of time to doing speed training. So what we're gonna be doing today here in a minute, we're gonna head out to the fairway factory. I'm gonna hook up the swing caddy. We're gonna take our 15 swings and we're gonna see, did my week of rest absolutely kill my swing speed? Personally, I don't know what's gonna happen at all. I tell you what, I am feeling good. I am feeling stronger than ever. I hope I'm still in triple digits because man, if I'm losing swing speed, which I very much might be, uh, I will be a bit let down, but Without further ado, we have chatted enough. Let's head out to the fairway factory and get hitting our Bryson bombs. All right, so we're out here at the fairway factory, my in-home garage driving range. And like I said, I took a week off. I took a week off to recoup, but those who are new to the channel, to the OGV, 
For the past six weeks, I've been working out, I've been running like mad, I've been adding protein to my diet, I've been working out with these super speed golf sticks like four to five times a week. The orange whip by light speed. I started out at 92.6. After six weeks, I was 103.1, which my original goal was to get a swing speed in triple digits. I've exceeded that, but I did take a week off. Now, does taking a week off, if you're not training with the super speed sis system, does that drop your swing speed? That's what we're gonna find out here today. I'm gonna do 15 drives. I'm gonna toss out the two highest, the two lowest, and average that 11 out to get my swing speed. We, as always, have the swing caddy up and on. That is how I judge my swing speeds. Drive number one. Drive number two. Drive number three. Drive four. Hit knees well. Drive nine. Drive ten. Drive eleven. Gonna swing real hard on these next five. Bryson DeChambeau. Last one. And then two. Woo! Tell you what, I'm huffing and puffing like my name is Wayne Dewey. That is 15 drives in three minutes and 30 seconds. I like to rapid fire those dudes. I don't like to take my time. If you don't know who Wayne Dewey is, go check out his channel, DGS Golf Vlogs. He's a, he's a real nice guy. His golf vlogs are great if you like long, long form course vlogs. But besides the shameless Wayne Dewey plug, I feel like I kept my swaying speed. Quite possibly, I could have even went up for the first time ever, I hit 110 on one of those swings. I hit 108. I hit 107. I think two drives were at 98, the rest all in triple digits. So really having that week 
to recuperate and rest. I don't know the exact stats since I can't figure them out right now. I have to do that in post. I think I actually kept my swing speed. You know, Deuce to DeChambeau has absolutely changed my life. It has changed my golf game. My handicap, I started out as a 12.8. I am now a 9.1. I've had more 70s rounds since I've started Deuce to DeChambeau in this seven weeks than what I had all of last year. Last year, I had four rounds that broke the 80 mark. I have broken 85 times since December 4th, which was when I started this. That was my first round in Deuce to DeChambeau. You know, if you put the, the effort, the hard work in, in the super speed golf system, the orange whip, light speed, you work in your hitting net, it will pay off. I am proof of that. Anybody can do this, guys. All you have to do is put the time and effort in, and you can increase your swing speed like I have. I was a pathetic 92.6 at, at the start. Now I'm hitting triple digit swing speeds with ease. I have dropped, I'll flash a, a, a few drives up here. I've dropped over 280 yard on course drives in 28 degree weather. That is negative three Celsius weather. Dropping 280 yard bombs when it's that cold. I am looking forward to the future, I'll tell you that. As always, guys, if you like this content, hit it with a thumbs up. It's always an option to subscribe to Ohio Golf Vlogs. We're going to show you the best the Buckeye State has to offer as far as golf. We're working on improving your golf, my golf, all of our golfs. That's the whole principle behind Ohio Golf Vlogs. As always, guys, I'll see you on the next episode of Douche to DeChambeau.